Breaking. Trump Tower Emergency. People Trapped. President Donald Trump is awoken Monday morning by horrific news about his beloved New York City home of Trump Tower. We're getting word now that people have been trapped in the skyscraper that bears Trump's name and is his home away from the White House, as emergency crews swarm the building and try to get others out alive. Until Trump moved into the White House, the 68-story high-rise was home to the Trump Organization and his family, who still maintain their penthouse residence there. It's also one of New York's most visited and most distinctive attractions and has become frequently under attack by anti-Trump tourists taking out their hate on the president with selfies showing them flipping off the building and protesting outside it. However, now it's become a scene of horror as the high-rise became engulfed in flames and smoke billowing out from the top of the skyscraper where Trump's penthouse is. The Daily Mail reports. Trump Tower caught fire on Monday morning, with emergency responders rushing to the scene just after 7 a.m. in Midtown Manhattan. Firefighters could be seen on the roof of the building as large clouds of smoke covered the Midtown skyline, managing to put out the blaze in less than an hour. The fire was caused by an electrical box in the HEC system on the roof of the building according to an FDNY spokesperson. Members of the NIPE were also on the scene, but had left the roof along with firefighters by 8 a.m. President Trump lives on the top three floors of the building, but has been in Washington, D.C. since he took office last January. The building is also where Eric and Donald Jr. have their offices, and where Ike's eponymous fashion company is headquartered. The First Lady and Baron had been living in their residence at the skyscraper for the first half of last year, but moved into the White House over the summer. There was a small electrical fire in a cooling tower on the roof of Trump Tower. The New York Fire Department was here within minutes and did an incredible job, wrote Eric on Twitter Monday morning. The men and women of the hash f.d.y. are true heroes and deserve our most sincere thanks and praise. While the fire is now said to be under control, according to NBC News, there still remains question and concern as to how this happened. It was a couple of tense hours as people in the building were seen being wheeled out on stretchers having apparently suffered minor injuries and perhaps smoke inhalation, specifically an engineer in the building. No residents of the high-rise were evacuated, Mail Online added. Lad Bible reports. Smoke could be seen billowing from the roof of the building, with many New Yorkers taking to social media to share photos and videos of the tower. It is now thought to be under control and there have currently been no reports of fatalities or injuries, according to NBC News. Investigators are now looking into how the fire may have started. The skyscraper is the headquarters of the Trump Organization, and until Trump moved into the White House in Washington, D.C., he and his family had lived in the penthouse of the tower. It was also the campaign nerve center for Trump when he ran in the 2016 presidential election and was used to film the American version of The Apprentice, the series that judges contestants based on their business skills. He does still have an apartment in the building, but Trump was apparently in Washington when the fire broke out. The mixed-use building, which was designed by prominent architect Dare Scott, also houses many luxury apartments and businesses. The first 26 floors are comprised of luxury offices providing world-class services to Trump Tower's commercial tenants, the website says. Accessible through a private entrance on 56th Street, the residential condominiums comprise floors 30 through 68 and are considered one of the world's elite luxury residences, catering to public figures, athletes, celebrities and other affluent sophisticates. A magnificent waterfall runs through the atrium of Trump Tower further enhancing its beauty, with Trump Bar and Trump Grill on its entrance and lower level. To complement the refined tastes of our residents, the stunning new Gucci flagship store occupies the Fifth Avenue corner of the building. Interestingly enough, this terrifying fire comes less than a week after a fire was reported at, near Hillary Clinton's upstate New York home. It's an ironic twist in this event not suspected of being connected but seems suspicious to some extent. Some extent.